Welcome to the RNA Seek Analysis using NextGene Software webinar. My name is Fook Nguyen and I will be the presenter for this webinar. NextGene Software is a user friendly software package that does not require any scripting. The software package features a multi step alignment algorithm designed for RNA Seq analysis. It aligns reads to a reference file that would then be used to identify variations in annotated transcript as well as identify novel transcripts. The software comes with an integrated NextGene viewer that has a unique transcript view and output many different types of report. NextGene software can provide full RNA sequencing analysis in one simple step. The results include information for mutation detection, including both SNPs and indels, expression analysis, and alternative splicing analysis. The tool can be used with Illumina, Roche 454, Solid System, and INPGM data. Single or pair read data can also be used. In addition to the full RNA seq analysis, the transcriptome view allows for easy viewing of novel transcript, known transcript, alternative splice site, and offers many useful tools for easy reviewing of data. There are four steps in NextGene Alternative Splicing Algorithm. First, the reads are aligned to the whole genome reference. Then, a reference of probable transcript are generated based on annotation information and aligned read coverage. The original reads are then realigned to these transcripts, and the position are converted back to genomic coordinates. Finally, transcript calls are generated. The results will display it in the transcript view along with the coverage and orange links to indicate alternative splice exon. To begin the analysis, in the Project Wizard Application Type window, select the instrument type and transcriptal analysis under Application Type along with alternative splicing. If alternative splicing is not selected, a normal unspliced algorithm will be performed and transcript will not be called. Expression analysis can still be performed, but reads will not be aligned across junction region. Once everything is selected, click Next. In the Load Data window, click on Format Conversion to convert the raw data to FASTA files for analysis. In the Format Conversion window, select the instrument type and use the drop-down menu to select the appropriate file type. Next, click on the Add button to import data and specify the output folder. Default settings work well for most data sets but can be adjusted if desired. Once you are finished, go back to the Load Data window of the Project Wizard. Load the converted data along with the preloaded reference. In the preloaded reference window, select the general of interest or select Import Reference. Click on List to populate a list of genome. Select the genome of interest and specify the installation location. If the genome you need is not in the list, you can use the Build Index for WGA tool in NextGene to generate a reference from GenBank files. In the Transcriptome Alignment Setting dialog box, there are a few important options that should be noted. The first is the Single Strand Sequencing option. This option must be selected when using single strand sequences. The other settings are the minimum coverage for annotated and unannotated regions. These two settings will determine the minimum coverage needed to identify transcript. The lower the settings, the more sensitive the analysis will be. If you set the settings higher, it will reduce analysis time but also reduces sensitivity. The other settings can be left at default as it work well for most data sets. If using paired end data, select pair reads. However, for INPGM paired end data, it is recommended to use the overlap merger tool. The overlap merger tool is discussed in improved accuracy of INPGM paired end data webinar. The single strand sequencing option will be grayed out once pair reads is selected. Other options such as seed length and move step are used for the first alignment step and should usually not be adjusted. The allowable ambiguous number controls the maximum number of ambiguous alignments per read in the initial alignment. Remove non-linked exons will delete transcript calls where only one exon in a multi-exon gene is found. Rigorous fusion detection adds extra processing including using small seed sizes near the ends of transcripts in order to find potential fusions that did not occur in the middle of reads. Ambiguous alignment for similar genes adds special handling for reads that align to multiple similar genes. New gene detection 
parameters can be adjusted if the species-specific splicing is expected to differ. Parameters for hash table alignment control the second alignment step. Mutation detection parameters can be adjusted as needed. When you are satisfied with the setting, click Finish. In the final window of NextGene, you can either select to run the current project or create more projects for batch processing. I will choose to run NextGene. In NextGene Viewer, all detected mutations are highlighted and listed in the mutation report. Purple is used for reported mutations. Blue is used for novel mutations. The mutation report includes detailed information for each mutation including annotation information like gene name, CDS number, chromosome name, and chromosome position. Statistics like the coverage, nucleotide frequency, and the mutation confidence score are also shown for each mutation. The report is highly flexible and can be filtered to show only coding sequence mutations, high reported mutations, high synonymous mutations, or filter out mutations with low confidence scores. When analysis is finished, the project will automatically open up in NextGene Viewer. The mutation report details all the call variants in the project. To display the transcript view, select the transcript view icon. The viewer will automatically switch over to the transcript view display. The purple links are known based on annotation. The blue links are novel and the orange links are alternative splicing. The transcript view now displays a transcript report which is also linked to the transcript view. So you can click on any variation in the report and the transcript view will jump to that position. In the transcript view, you can select the transcript report settings to change how the report is displayed. In the dialog box, you can select to display three different types of discovered links, novel, known, and fusion, or multiple different types of splice events, such as normal, which is the same as annotated exons, alternative splicing, and exon skipping. Multiple filters are included so that low frequency events can be ignored. The report lists all exons and links together with one record per row. The columns or information can be selectively hidden using the Columns tab of the Transcript Report settings. The Transcript View is a unique tool in NextGene that can be used for many purposes. In this example, the orange links shows alternatively spliced exons. The local coverage window is shown with automatic scaling and zoom into a range from 0 to 25 in order to see the low level expression. In addition, the alternative stop and start sites are highlighted in gray for easy identification. For exon skipping, NextGene software uses a pink bar to indicate the position. In this example, the skip exon is under the blue unannotated novel link. NextGene also offers an expression report which can be accessed under the report menu from the normal view. The expression report displays different expression measurements for the entire project. The table can be sorted by double-clicking a column header. This table is sorted by RPKM with the highest expression belonging to mitochondrial genes. NextGene software is an all-inclusive package that contains a unique multi-step RNA-seq alignment algorithm. The software is user-friendly that allows for easy project setup using the project wizard. In addition, NextGene Transcript Viewer was created specifically for RNA-seq analysis for easy reviewing along with the linked transcript report. The results can be used to generate an expression report or a mutation report for export. This concludes Soft Genetics webinar on RNA-seq analysis using NextGene software. If you would like more information or want to try a free 30-day trial of NextGene software, please visit www.softgenetics.com or send an email to info at softgenetics.com. You may also request for online training if you are interested in learning more about the software and its capabilities. Thank you for joining me in this webinar.